All right. Welcome back. The cats are fed and happy. Got myself some fresh water. Yay. Now, we need to craft some things. We need vacuum hoppers. Let's these guys right here. Do we have blaze? Okay. We have two of those. One of those. Dug on it. It's only this crafting grid that does that. So annoying. Do we have any item conduits? We have six of the Endry O variety. Do we happen to have any um, pulsating iron? Because <laughs> that's what's needed for this, right? No. Item pipes. Ooh. Hmm. The hopper has its own pipe in config. No, it's just, I think we're gonna need a couple because the two vacuum hoppers are gonna be a, separated a bit. Ender chests. Let's look. Ender. It's not connected again. Epidur. Ender chests. One, two. Now, colors. What do we have for coral? Gray. We could use gray for food for the food transportation. And then diamonds. Oof. We don't have any diamonds? Let's go get some diamonds. Okay. I don't have anything that fortunes, so we're just gonna have to do this for now. There we go. How's this doing? Awesome. Okay. So we've got two vacuum hopters, two under chests, and some conduits. Yay. Um, I might need to come back down and make some more agri-craft crop sticks. I'm not 100% sure. Can this convert directly? Or can it be used directly? That's what I'd like to know. Anyone, <laughs> it's like, is anyone not configuring their thing? Oh, good. Okay. All right. So, go back up. <clears throat> This one. All right. Um, oh, we should have enough for that area. What do we want to grow? Since they're all max mutations, we already get a bunch from whatever one we happened to grow. Might just do a berry or something. I don't think it matters. I'm just wanting something. Let's 
do raspberries. And I want the shears. Clippers. Okay. And I know they're not going to grow very fast at the moment because I don't have... That's what I'll put there, cyclic sprinklers. It'll be a little slower, but that's fine. We probably need a bunch of sprinklers to speed it up. It's already at 37%. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do this side first. And then we'll just keep spreading it that way. Um, the vacuum hopper going to be above. It's going to be in this row. One, two, three, four. There. And that should pick up. Let's make it go out one more. that and what we'll probably do is put the ender chest in the middle somewhere here this is an even number so it's not gonna be perfect but um, yeah Insert and then this guy um, in the fig. Oop. Aha. I wonder if I can force it with a Yetta wrench. If not, we may do a chest on top. crate. Crate would be fun. Um, what do we have? Here you spider. You know we have the um, underground chests. I have some cyclic sprinklers. Hello! Okay. We put you on top. Inventory full. Uh -huh. Okay, make sure you work. Then actually need extra conduit. Okay. And this will be extract always active and this will be insert. 
So that's technically set now. So why aren't you going? This is not considered a chest, Mr. Vacuum Hopper. Maybe it doesn't like the underground chest. Um, I don't think I have any treated wood up here, do I? No, this is building blocks. Uh-oh. You deleted all its contents by rotating it with a crescent wrench? Ah. watching my farm area come into view. Hey Aaron, I don't know. Did you need to configure it to export? I thought it just automatically exported according to the information. Um. The item outputs. It's not working at all. Look. All right. Break and replace. Oh, it's sparkling now. It wasn't sparkling before. It's not sparkling again. It's only sparkling when I don't have an item thingy selected. Does it also pick up when I do that? Yes. So what in the world? to see if we can make this one because why why it stops working by putting the inner chest on the side and port to it but shouldn't it work with a chest I mean seriously
right on the side. Okay, so we're gonna try on the slide first. Okay, so it's still sparkling. Picked it up. It's in the chest. I hate the config too. Oh, I'm out of power in my regulator. I'm starting to freeze. And then this is extract always active. So now it should be in here. Okay. That is weird, but we're we're not gonna concern ourselves with it. We're going to head down and repower our stuff while we freeze. And yeah, that'll take a while. But at least we have it working now. And yes, that's weird. So I'll do you first. And then you. What pipes? Ender I.O. Or the traveling pipes from Thermal Expansion. Oh uh, yeah. The viaducts from Thermal Dynamics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Food. We need to eat. And let's put that and that in there. Okay, so we have that side set up, sort of. So let's, while we're down here waiting for things to charge, this is the second floor, I think, is the... This floor is going to be uh, metal presses. We're gonna have three, I think. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Give me you. Might need four. One, two, three. Hmm, maybe do one, two, three, four. And then this floor, we're going to do auto processing from our mining area. So that'll be this side. So maybe this side or this side could be crops, or we could even do it in the middle. Yeah, one for each plate so I can automate that process. Let's see, because we're going to need to... I wonder if this auto-pushes. I know this will probably auto-pull. Um... Can we do that? So we could do auto input and auto output, and auto input and auto output, and then have whatever right there. So can we automatically put, let's see, okay, input, output input, output. We need to upgrade these in order for them to be available. Huh. Now I'm really hot because I'm standing next to the furnace. <laughs> need my regulator, man. Oh, 
need fast more power faster power that should help get out of my diving gear okay These compactors are something that these um, upgrade kits would be a smart thing to use. Um, upgrade, no. Resonant, what are these? Conversion, let's just look up conversion. Conversion, I just have. Yay for loot. Can I put something in the output? Okay, so that is clearly going to need an item conduit. So we'll have to probably do that out of the back. Might be worth doing the translocators, because they're cheap. Oh, it's also possible that that didn't move because it's not something that can be compacted. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh. Let's put you back up there just in case. And I wonder if I have anything that can be compacted down here. Let's see. Um, I bet melons can. I know apples can, actually. want to do is make the ugh, guys you're watching me do this wrong say something man Does it need power to auto output? No, it went in. Great, it works. So we can just have it stacked like that. And in fact, we can lift it up one more and put the output of where we're gonna send these. Um, I wonder if we could just chuck them into the market directly when we can make the market block the thing that we can sell them to. Right now I'll just probably put a chest or something, a bin or a drawer, just get a whole bunch of them. Okay, so we know that that will work and that can hold a stack. Awesome, let's go check our power. I know we don't have a lot of power. Oh, slow. Um, we can put our conversion kit back. The apples, put you away and you away. All right. I'm getting impatient. 
Um, there's not a slot in that thing over there that has power. So this is really it. And it's just filling up from these few, so that's why it's so slow. It'd be a lot faster if I had it hooked up to the Ember RF generator over here. We, we need to do that. Upgrading the charger won't matter. It's not getting enough power. It is not getting the power it needs because this is not hooked up to it. And I don't think I have more of the energy conduit. 12. Mm. There where my power is coming from that's higher. Let's put the thing back in there. I mean, it still sucks it down, but yeah. I definitely plan on getting more power here relatively soon. I just have to figure out where to put the diesel generator. Yeah. Okay, so we need to make two things for diesel. I can't remember what they are. One is ethanol and one is... Because we need to make the three immersive engineering machines. And it's been a while since I made them. Like, all the mods, expert mode, whatever pack that was on Breakfast Craft. That's, I think, the last time I did diesel. Fermenter, refinery, thank you. Fermenter, refinery, and we're gonna need, um, so the fermenter does seed oil or something and it turns it into ethanol, and the ethanol... Yeah, well we need to do the pump jack quest anyway to unlock the market for this. The fermenter specifically needs corn. Oh, corn is the best. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Because I'm, if I recall, I will probably be able to fit one machine in this size. So if I made several levels and had the machine stacked, so the new the the um, fermenter on top, refinery on the second floor, and the diesel gen on the third floor, I could do one of these silos. Probably do a copy paste, rotate, and then place. Because when you paste, if it does, if you don't have the things in your inventory, it will just leave them out. So it would leave all of this stuff out. Um, yeah, so that's possible. Because like I said, I wanted to have a second silo in this corner, and that could be the diesel, diesel power silo. Um, eventually, like all the power will be connected, you know. So. <laughs> We're just still, I still feel pretty early game, even though I'm probably, I probably count that I might be in like the middle. Maybe there's still some flowing water here, I can see. Yeah, I had to cheat in that cyclic block, but I could probably find the cyclic merchant and buy it. 
the one that places water blocks. Remember, we had to do that before. I think also, I think you're the one that helped tell me which block, which wand or whatever it was that we were doing to fix that problem. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Power to the pump jack, swapping out power cells, going... What about... is the cyclic... I have not ever used it. But are the wireless things from cyclic disabled? These energy transfer nodes? No, this doesn't necessarily mean it's disabled. This just means I need to bring up the cyclic market merchant dude to see if he sells it. <laughs> it just means I can't craft it. I don't think there's any other wireless energy transfer. This is redstone. Yeah, it says redstone, items, energy, and fluids. Um, I mean... Yeah. I mean, I am going to make a huge assumption here that these are probably... Thank you for the follow! I appreciate it. Andrio transceiver. That's true. The dimensional transceiver. It's A with a C. No, it's right here. Yeah. Quite a ways along to make infinity iron and ender crystals, and we'll need liquid XP by then. So we have, we have some time. Okay, let's go upstairs. Upstairs, let's go to the surface. We need to check on our farms and get them um, spread a little bit further for that one half. Um, yeah. You wouldn't be able to make such a base in this texture pack? Something wrong with the texture pack? I think I laid all the crop sticks, but I need clippers. gonna help a little bit. Let's get some of these. Done. Uh, the range of the cyclic sprinklers? No, I don't. Hehehe. <laughs> 
It takes talent, I think, to make a base look cool when you don't have chisel and bits. I'm really struggling without the chisel and bits. Okay, you should have... There they go. Okay. It be working. We will need to speed these up, but it be working. It isn't going all the way to here, though. Is there a problem with its harvesting spate range? Every 200 ticks. It's not... The one I think the problem, one of the problems is there's not enough light on this side. Okay, see, they're all almost fully grown. And... It didn't harvest. It should have. Yeah, that's what this timer is, though. No, I can't say anything in Hungarian. I'm not Hungarian. Even on one, it's not doing anything. Did it just... It just harvested it. Um, let's slow it down a little here. It shouldn't be negative one. It should be zero. It was at zero. That's what I was like. Let's try a different one. What made it, it there? It just did one. One. I have seen this work in other people's doesn't do it all at once. Does it do it one at a time? Okay. Why are you sitting on top? Are you stuck there? Uh, having a hard time getting to the ender hopper because of that chest. Well, what in the world? Well, I already learned we can't put it on top. I'm not good at this. <sighs> That's going to be a problem. No, I don't want to put another hopper there. There will be another hopper here-ish. Um, you can temporarily set up this side. It's gonna be 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here. Seriously, we already found we can't put it through the top. <sighs> and that's a problem. Probably full. Because we have nowhere for that to go. Okay, so we're going to turn you off for now until we can get the other stuff running. But I've noticed it's not extracting again. It's not sparkly again.
Alright, maybe that'll work. And then we'll have the other one from here go that way. How do I have... Oh, I haven't placed... Nope. Did I just dupe Ender Chest? Did I not leave the one downstairs? Oh, and me confused. So is that technically a start? Are we good? I keep getting all sorts of stuff spawning up there. Yay! Um... We just need to work on getting... Uh... The other part set up. Oh, even more things. We're gonna have to set up a, spa a mob farm up there. <laughs> And everywhere else that we're gonna I think what we'll do um, we can do these iron spikes from cyclic I believe I saw those for sale from a merchant we could just stick them up there and I think we can buy the fans too from open blocks we can make those and we can just push them into iron spikes. And we can have a little mini mob form up here just to keep things from bugging us. That's an idea. I also have to figure out, are they spawning on the glass? Because if they aren't, then I know I just need to replace those um, planks with something else, which they were going to be agrocraft water tanks anyway. But with the sprinklers not working, between uh, server restarts. Um, yeah, just. Ugh. Anyway, we're going to peg you. Maybe sea lanterns. That does not stop spawning up there, unfortunately, since that is um, build height. It doesn't matter what the light level is, things will just spawn up there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. I mean, because it's daytime, you saw it was daytime and things were spawning and not dying. Oh, that's a good question. We have that ender chest. Did I not place? Did I leave pick up the ender chest that was here? I did. Okay. Um, in order to help with the amount of influx we're gonna get, this will probably fill up really fast. We're gonna need to use translocators to pull out of the ender chest and into a drawer. what we're going to need to do to help keep the ender chest from filling up and backlogging upstairs. And that drawer is going to need a um, void upgrade. Yeah. Just in case things back up. So we will work on that next time. I'm going to call it an end for today's stream. I will be back most likely tomorrow morning for our C block Sunday. So we'll be back here probably working on more farming. And then definitely power, Jen. We need to work on our power so we can start doing all of the things. So I hope to see you back here tomorrow morning for some more C-Block Rustic Waters. If you're not already following me, go ahead and do so, so you'll get notified when I go live. I will catch you back here then. Take care, folks. Bye!